get there. Now, I did promise you all one more dramatic demo, so to help me with that, I'm going to welcome on the stage the newest member of the OpenStack Foundation, Ildiko Vancha. All right, what do you got? Well, thank you, Mark. I got that I'm very excited to be here and be part of this amazing NFP demo, for which we actually have a 4G mobile system running on top of OpenStack on these servers right next to me. So many of the NFP use cases are coming from the telecom industry, and I think I will not share any new information under the sun if I tell you, Mark, and the audience uh, that the carrier grade requirements of this segment are very, very strict. So give you a little bit of an insight, let me share you uh, an example. Mark, you heard about the five nines, right? It's a lot of nines, I know that. Yep, that's exactly five okay, <laughs> of five. those nines. So fill <laughs> all of you in who maybe never heard about it, which would be weird, but it can happen. Um, this actually means that the availability of a given service has to be above 99.999%. OK, so amazing, we have still the five nines, that's what that means. So it is actually less than five and a half minutes per year. So I, I don't know about you, but personally, for me, it took more than this to have my coffee this morning. <laughs> so for me, this five and a half minutes actually means at most one coffee per year if I'm fast enough to finish that in time. So that's just tough, right? And I guess I don't have to explain it to you how tough that is to build a system that is actually able to fulfill all these strict requirements. But today, we will demonstrate it to you that OpenStack is capable of serving as a base of these systems. The work has started about one, one and a half year ago, but we really couldn't have done it alone. We are collaborating with OPNFE, which is an open source community with the mission of building an end-to-end -end integrated open source cloud platform to accelerate the adoption and evolution of NFV. I'm proud to say that I'm involved in this community in a few projects, for example, OPNFE Doctor. Uh, this project is about to handle fault management in the platform, and uh, they are uh, using and also collaborating with several OpenStack projects, for example, AODH, the alarming service, Congress, which provides policy enforcement, uh, Nova, which I hope you all know, OpenStack Compute, and Vitraj, which provides root code analysis. And without giving out too many hints, I can tell you that Vitraj will be in the spotlight just a few minutes from now. <laughs> and looking over to Mark, I think I should stop with the storytelling because this guy looks really eager and impatient to get into some trouble. Am All I right. right? Yeah, let's uh, do something crazy. Let's just start Demoing things. Yeah, See let's get the show started. So it is my honor to welcome on stage the project lead of Vitraj, Ifad Afek, and the project lead of OPNFE, Dr. Ryota Mibu. All right, so Ryota and Ifat are going to actually help us demonstrate what a phone call does look like on an OpenStack-powered 4G mobile network. So, uh, Ildiko, why don't we do something? You make a phone call, and I'll play the role of the real-life chaos monkey over here and see, see what happens when I start going crazy. Yeah, now you just made me scared of making the very first yeah, phone call live <laughs> on main stage. But let's see. Hi, Heather. How are you doing this morning? Hi, Elbico. I'm doing great. I'm hanging out here in the uh, OpenStack Foundation Lounge. Great. Uh, great. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Heather, are you... Mark, so put those back in. So you see, you see. All right. So we all know in the real world, cables get cut, and there are chaos monkeys of various types running around data centers and digging up cables. So, Ryota, why don't you tell us uh, how you can actually solve this problem? 
Sure. <laughs> so let me explain the demo system first. The phone calls go to D server to the launch. In D server, we have an EC commercial mobile core network of 4G running on top of OpenStack. And due to its very uh, high, rev uh, sorry, high availability requirement, it has redundant NICs and VMs for failover. To initiate this failover, we need fast fault notification. But it had been missing in OpenStack. So when you remove the orange cable for the primary VMs, the packet got dropped. And even though we have backup VMs connected by the blue cable. So next slide. Yeah. So we started OP NFV Doctor project to develop fault management framework for high availability. And I, I think this project is a great example of collaboration of, uh, among telco operators, vendors, and open source communities. So the project was initiated by NTT Docomo and supported by several companies from the beginning. And in the project, we studied NFV industrial specification and requirement and developed solution architecture like this. And we mapped functional blocks in the architecture to appropriate OpenStack services. So Congress inspect for the event from infrastructure area, and Nova, Neutron, and Cinder need to change the status of the fault affected resources. And AODH sent a notification to the application manager so that it can perform switch over to backup VMs quickly. But we still had few features missing in OpenStack. And we received tremendous support from the OpenStack community for the development of these missing features. These missing features are now included in OpenStack Newton release. So let me enable the Doctor features. All right, Ryota's going to bring the doctor to the house and see if uh, maybe we can withstand the chaos monkey one more time, this time with uh, the doctor project. So now I'm creating one alarm in AODH and seven policies in Congress. And note, we are using vanilla OpenStack, which means without any proprietary add-ons to the OpenStack. It seems ready. All right, Ildiko, let's try this again. And I'll try to behave myself, but no promises. Let's, let's make one more live phone call from the stage. Well, I trust doctor. Not really you, Mark, though. <laughs> Smart. Oh, okay, is that you? Yeah, this is me, Heather. I'm so sorry. So Mark, right. our chaos monkey, just unplugged this for time real out. this time. But now we have no the doctor man. turned on, so hopefully everything will go fine. Oh, that's great. I'm sure that will uh, help things uh, a lot. Uh, I can't believe they trusted me with these. So, uh, are, we, are we able to uh, mark proof the uh, phone call? <laughs> yeah, the phone call is not totally mark proof. The cables are cut, two cables <laughs> are cut, and we can still hear you. So thank you for supporting this demo. See you around this week and have a great time with OpenStack. <laughs> uh, thanks. Have a wonderful open cycle. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Wow. Woo. All right. I just want to say I had the easiest job of anyone. I just had to, but those scissors are pretty heavy. Okay. So look, it worked. Amazing. I'm excited. Uh, but I did notice some alarms went off here, and I think this is the Vitrage dashboard. So, Ifot, why don't you tell us what, what we're looking at up here? Oh, thank you, Mark. OpenStack Vitrage is a cool and innovative root cause analysis service that helps the cloud administrator understand and manage the faults of the cloud. I'll explain how it works. Vitrage collects data from OpenStack or external data sources, combines it in a topology graph, and uses it to, um, and uses it, uh, to show an holistic view of the cloud topology. Uh, on the screen behind me, 
you can see with large entity graph in horizon. On top, you see the physical layer. Below is the virtual layer. And on the bottom, the application layer. The great thing about this view is that it shows you how these three layers connect to one another and how they affect one another. When Mark cut the cables, new alarms appeared in the graph, and some resources changed their color to red. I'll explain what happened. Vitraj received a notification from an external monitor that the host was down. He then executed some pattern-matching algorithm over the graph, which is really cool, and executed the wanted actions. It notified Nova that the host was down and changed its state to uh, error, and it created additional alarms on the instance and on the application, notifying the cloud administrator about these problems. But this is not the only view available. In Vitrage Alarms view, you can see alarms from different sources like Nagios, Zabbix, or AODH that are currently active in the system. You see here the alarm that was raised by the monitor and the two alarms that were raised by Vitrage. In a larger setup, there could be a very long list of alarms. And if you want to understand why there are so many alarms, you can open the most important view, the root cause analysis view. Here you see a top-down causal relationship of the alarms. In our case, you can clearly understand that the application alarm was caused by an instance down alarm, and the root cause for these alarms is that the host was down. Now, you have a full vision of the cloud topology, the alarm that happened, and the effect it had on the system. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. The amazing NFB team.